Hey, everybody. I do not feel well, so I'm going to be low volume. Erin's getting her some wine. I have some tea with honey. <clears throat> think my sinus infection turned into bronchitis because I didn't have medication that worked properly for me. It was like an antibiotic that... Um, just, uh, there's like one in particular that I have taken before that really hadn't helped, but I didn't know really like which one it was. Hi, Allie, first time catching me live. Yay. Thank you, Kirsten. Yeah. I mean, you know, this has been happening since January and I'm really tired of it. So I'm excited to be able to finally Aaron to finally share my story. And Aaron's been there with me through the whole way. Um, so I, I, you know, I'm also going to try not to not name people really. Um, and, you know, it, hopefully my external hard drive will work. I, it's not loading right now, so that's good. Oh, uh, Hannah's on. Hi, yeah. Hannah. Hello, everybody. I had to get my Mega Pint. Mega Pint. I got my J mug. You're drinking tea. I'm very happy you're drinking With honey, tea. just like you said. I totally was, you guys, I was momming her earlier. She was like, <laughs> earlier today, she was like, get some warm tea, put some honey <laughs> in it, and before I did that, I fell asleep. So I was asleep for like three hours. Yeah. <laughs> I woke up and then like an hour or two after I woke up, I FaceTimed her and she was Cheers, like, everybody drink your tea. And I was like, Aww. no, but I'll do it now. JJ is the same. She is the same. I love this comment. Erin is the supportive BFF. We all need in our lives. She's the same way. Like when I was sick and when my dad was going through his surgery and stuff, she was like, what's going on? What's, what's up? And I'm like, hey. I've been crying all morning. <laughs> Have you tried essential oils? I drank some this morning. Can I tell That's a joke? Can I tell an essential oil horror story? Yeah. Of course you can. This one time I had walking pneumonia. It was diagnosed as bronchitis. This was when we lived in New Mexico. And um, I had somebody that was like, oh. I have something. It's going to help you feel so much better. I'm like, oh God, I'm so miserable. But like, whatever, like come over. What is it? Frankincense. Have you ever tried frankincense in a capsule? No, but I know that Jesus was brought frankincense at his birth. Frankincense and myrrh? Yeah. Okay, but anyways, it was gross. I was burping up frankincense. Oh gosh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was awful. Add a dash of whiskey. I told Riley, like, when I started to not feel well Sunday, I was like, dude, just go get a thing of whiskey. I'll take a shot. I was told that, you know, yeah, that maybe that'll help. But whiskey's a hot toddy on a budget. You need a hot toddy. I do. Aaron, make me one and bring it to me. Oh, done. <laughs> I'll be right there. <coughs> um, sto another story time, Rachel, because I see your comment. <laughs> Judas, no. <laughs> um, Rachel said, um, I'm with Aaron. Your real TikTok made me cry as well. I was there with you. Seriously, let's talk about that TikTok. Okay, one, it's a super important message, number one. But like sometimes JJ will send me her TikToks and I'm like, oh yeah. I'm like, I'm expecting to go in and like get the tea and like see somebody trying to defend their MLM and her just like, dishing up the facts <laughs> that's what I was expecting I was like oh she sent me a TikTok let me go see what's going on and like it took half a second I all I did was look at her eyeballs and I was already crying because I was like you can see the pain it was it was terrible yeah I, it was an important message yeah yeah I just I don't know I like it was one of those where I was like I didn't do it like I mean you know I put in the work but it wasn't self-care it wasn't this, it was proper mental health intervention that saved my life. Yeah. Uh, it was my, it was my therapist who met with me the three days after every single day met with me that night. My husband called the, the emergency hotline. She got on, met with me instantly. We talked for a long time, um, made sure that I didn't need to go to the hospital or anything. And then, um, she met with me the next day and the next day and the next day. And and then my psychiatrist who, you know, got on, talked to me. Yeah, it was just, you know, with that, without them, 
doing that. I don't, I don't know, you know? I'm just glad that you share that story because I think that that helps a lot of people. But next time, give your bestie a little warning. Like, you know how I do trigger warnings in most of my videos lately? Trigger warning. You might cry. <laughs> Aaron, you might get kind of emotional. <laughs> Yeah. So someone's like, can we get a, a recap just during life? Yeah. I haven't really said anything <clears throat> yet. Um, so this has been going on since January and what happened and my, uh, hard drive it's, it's not working Aaron and I'm going to cry because it has everything on it, but it's fine. I'll go to Apple and they'll fix it. Right. They will fix it. They're amazing. Um, yeah. Um, so what, what happened was, some of you who are my members know of what's going on. And um, a, a few months ago, you know, people were like, you don't need to share it. You don't, you know, you don't need to do it. And because I, 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 there's no reason to defend myself when I've, when I haven't done anything necessarily. Sorry, my people from my class are texting me because I have a final um, midterm tomorrow. Um, but uh so I celebrated my, me hitting 5,000, um, subscribers on YouTube. Yeah. 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 5k. And on that post, someone said, and I'm going to read it verbatim. Um, I'm actually going to try to get, I, I have, I have it, but it's in my external hard drive. Uh, I think just doing the best that you can to like explain what happened yeah, I just want to show the receipts, though, because they haven't been shown, at least this one in particular, which is, you know, the main one, you know, yeah. that this is this hasn't been shown at all while she was trying to, you know, say that I'm some horrible bully, which I'm not. And I'm going to I hope that this helps you see it. Um, yeah, but it's just been like since January and and she's deciding to make another video about me saying that I've what was the word that she used? Um, oh, God. We just said it, too. Yeah. Behind, behind the scenes. Uh, yeah, I'm doing something. I don't know. It'll come to us. I can play. I can play her Instagram thing. Um, I'll, I'll mute it and see. Like, because you can hear it. So let me, let me mute myself. Hopefully you don't hear it. Okay. So I don't think she says her name. Uh, she says next video, hashtag JJ, hashtag opinion, hit the link in my channel. So this person's made many videos about me since what happened? So it's when I hit 5k, this person commented on there and I guess they deleted their comments. I don't know. I'm going to find the photos. Oh yeah. I saw that Aaron. <laughs> um, Look at this comment too. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm coming. You're fine. Love you, JJ. Oh, thank you, Caroline. You're very sweet. Um, no, she just said your name in that. And yeah, she said my name, but probably not her name is what I'm hoping. Because I, I still, like, to this day, I still haven't said this was the person. But don't worry, she's told other people that I have and that that's how I bullied her. And that um, and she's had other people make videos about me who don't know me, who've not talked to me about the situation. And I haven't told my story yet. Really what I'm doing is I'm just finally telling my story because they've had five months of telling theirs and haven't shown to this day the original conversation um, from what I know. So I have to go to my photos and, and find it. I While you're looking for it, do you want me to kind of explain and then you can oh, show absolutely, it? absolutely, because I don't feel well. My brain's a little... Well, I know. And that's why I'm just trying to support where you need me, you know? I would love that. So when JJ hit 5K subscribers, which shout out to all of you, it's amazing. Yeah, um, this was posted by this other creator um, and it was something along the lines of, I have X number of subscribers. If you want to, I don't remember the exact wording. She's going to pull up the receipts to be sure. I just wanted to give you guys kind of the story. 
um, I have, you know, some X number of subscribers if you want to support me or something like that in the comments of that post. And in my opinion, and I've stated this multiple times, uh, that's not the time or the place to do that. You know, she's celebrating her work and her, uh, the people that are following her and uh, appreciating her content and all of that stuff. And to come in and just say, hey, follow me, subscribe to my channel is a little bit inappropriate, I feel like. Again, just my opinion. And, um, and that was really what kind of started all of this was JJ responded and was like, hey, please don't do this on my celebratory post. This is not okay. And that was when this person, in my opinion, just kind of went off. Um, that was when the live started. That was when the YouTube video started. And we were all pleading with her. Pleading. She went live on Instagram. And there was a couple of us that went on her live and said, I, I said this, please, you don't have to do this. You, like, you don't have to do this. It doesn't have to be this way. All she was saying was, hey, don't do that on my celebratory post. And if you want a shout out, all you got to do is ask. Or if you want some help with growing your channel, which there's nothing wrong with that. There's things that I ask JJ. There's things that I ask Chelsea because I am like, okay, I'm still learning. And so asking for help is, is not a bad thing at all. We're all, we're all still learning in a sense, you know? And so... JJ was like, if you want some help in growing your channel, I would, I would absolutely be willing to help you. And that set this person off too. And so it was like, in my opinion, looking back, there was no reasoning with this person. And I'll just speak frankly. I think that this has to do with views, in my opinion. I think that one of her top viewed videos was the one her about top viewed video is the video about me yeah so i feel like this is all trying to bring that all up again so that she can get more subscribers and also increase her views and i just i think that that's i think that that's gross i think that if i make a mistake i'm gonna admit it i'm gonna apologize for it and i'm gonna learn from it but i also know that not everybody really has that humbleness I don't know is that the right word I don't know so that's that's essentially what went on but then there was a ridiculous amount of stories a ridiculous amount of lives a ridiculous amount of YouTube videos and it was coming from all angles so one thing that I saw that you guys didn't see probably most of you was the constant barrage of attacks that JJ was sitting and taking quietly because legally she was advised not to say anything. And so all of this was happening. They were attacking everything they could about her, calling her a bully, calling her all of that stuff, but she was not, she was simply saying, Hey, please don't comment that here. This isn't the time or the place. And if you want help with growing your channel and increasing subscribers, I would love to help you. And that was just like, a shout out to JJ because I know when this was all going down, I was like, don't, don't say anything. Don't say anything because in my opinion, I, I feel like people like this use these types of controversies, controversies, there it is, trying to build a following, you know? So I don't know. Um, it was, it was all over the place. Stories, Instagram, it's probably on TikTok too. I don't know because I haven't looked. It was it was really, really bad. And she just she just took it and collected all the information and did what she needed to do. And um, I'll let her kind of explain that part of it. But it was very, it was very it was hard on her, you guys. So um and again, like even still, even though I've set boundaries, of course, like I've set boundaries and this person will no longer like be able to consume my content from her profile because I've chosen to block her. Again, that's my decision. It's my content. It's my social media. Um, but nobody hates her. Nobody, you know what I'm saying? Like 
hey, don't do that is, is, yeah, I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Yeah, look at everybody's like, we love you, JJ. Oh, so, you Sorry, I'm not looking. I'm trying to. <laughs> hey, Riley. Hey, babe. Right, <laughs> been there through all of it too. Yep. Having I me mean, having to stay quiet about all of this, and I'm I'm tired of it, and I'm still not gonna tell them. I'm still not gonna say their name. I'm what I'm doing right now is I'm editing the videos to blog out their name, just because they aren't, I guess, considered a public figure. I mean, they're everything's public, but for at first they were upset that I put our conversation on Instagram on, on Instagram story like and I blocked their name and they're like how dare you put me out there like that I'm like I blocked your name this is an example I'm using to to tell people to not do I was just going to ask if you can share why you did that because I think it's important for people to know there's a lot of content creators we follow one another you know um and I think it's important the educational part of that is like hey you may not know but like that's not okay to do that that's not okay to just um, and this is a conversation and, and let's just have this conversation now because uh, there are certain things and it's not even that complicated, but there are certain things that you shouldn't do if you are a content creator in this genre or any genre for that matter. You don't go and self-promote on somebody else's channel, Instagram, whatever social media. That's just not right. Now, if you're, if you're wanting a shout out, if you're wanting, you know, whatever, it, it, that's a private conversation, you know, and it's not about stealing subscribers or anything like that. You can't steal people. That's not how that works. Um, but I think that understanding that there's a time and a place and it's not okay to self promote on somebody else's page. You know, like if you had, if you had a skincare line, would you go on, and I know, hypothetical question. If you had a skincare line, would you go on to somebody else's skincare line, their social media pages and say, hey, I carry this same thing too. You guys should follow me as well. No, you would get blocked by that. So like, this is the same kind of thing that, that we're dealing with. It's just not okay to do that. Collaborate with who you want to. And at the end of the day, if somebody is not your people because we're not for everybody and that's totally okay. And you want to block and remove them or unfollow them or whatever that looks like, then do it because we stand for some healthy boundaries. Yeah. So. Yeah. Sorry. Still. No, I'm, I'm I just want to show the original messages because they've never been shown. Yeah. And or- I think that's been the biggest and hardest thing that JJ, if I can, if I can speak for you on this, you can, all, you can definitely speak. Okay, um, is that sh- that the receipts were not shown? It's kind of like it's kind of like the <laughs> the Amber Heard piece. The like the receipts weren't shown. You know what I'm saying? And here they are in this. Oh, you guys know what I'm saying, but. I think that's been the hardest thing for her is she has the receipts. She's like, Hey, show the receipts, show the receipts. And the, the people involved in this will not show the receipts because if you saw the receipts, which you're about to, it will all make sense. There's not anything that's cut out. There's not anything that's been edited. There's not anything that's been embellished. This is what happened. Here's the screenshot. This is what happened. Here's the live. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully this will just clear some of it up. Um, and ultimately I just hope it makes you feel better, JJ. Yeah. <clears throat> because they posted today about trying to make another video with Secret Classy ones and they keep the receipts. Yeah. I mean, and, and the thing is like, tell your story, do it, tell your story, please. Like I, you know, do what you want to do, but don't lie. And Lying by omission is lying. Yeah. And she's going to do another video about me and probably take this live and do a video about it. Um, And I just don't care at this point. I think that I'm done letting her tell her version of the story. And I'm just going to tell the version of the story. Yeah. Um, This is just about making you feel better. Telling your side of the story. Showing the receipts. And we get to all hang out. Yes. Which is my favorite. And I'm on the last one of That's fine. Me, I swear. 
And we're we're not gonna we're not gonna mention her name. We're not gonna mention I'm gonna the do my best to make sure I know her name out of everything. Um, okay. Because it that's again, it's about the education. It's about the we don't need to mention this person's name. It is about this is this is what happened. This is here's the receipts. You guys are gonna hear me say that probably multiple times, but it's just important to tell the entire story. And that has not been happening for five months. And yeah. JJ said, Hey, I want to go live and tell my story. I was like, all right, let's do it. So yeah. Thank you, Aaron, for holding it in, <laughs> holding it down while I get these out. You're okay. welcome. And if you need me to fill in the gaps because you start coughing or whatnot, you know, you just let me know. Give me a wink yeah. or something. Give okay. me like a one of these. <laughs> Okay, so then. Okay, hold on. I'm just organizing it because I'm going to have it all in one PDF. Obviously, very last minute. Um, but I don't care. That's all right. Uh, all right, there's this. Yeah, exactly, Ian. If it's a collaboration, if it's something where you have a private conversation, um, if it's a video, for example, if it's, I, I try to shout out other creators often. Um, if it's a video that I watch, I'm like, oh my God, this is so good. Go watch this. You know, that mm -hmm. happens organically. That happens from content being good. And I'm not that's not me throwing shade. I'm not saying anything about this person's content. I'm just speaking for myself and how when there is good content that I consume, I'm like, oh my God, watch this. This is amazing. But it's organic. It's not forced, you know, and people, other creators, not that I'm pointing any fingers at all. Um, it's not appropriate to go on somebody else's live videos in the comments, social media or whatever, and promoting yourself. Not that any of you guys here do that but yeah okay okay let's see okay i think everything's covered it says I love the editing good job friend that was fast really last minute you know uh it says i have 55 anyone interested in subscribing to mine check out my content please and thank you and i said and that was two weeks ago and the only reason i saw this because i was going through that folder <laughs> told me about <coughs> what's the folder called the hidden comments or uh the yeah hidden comments yeah yeah okay yeah so the hidden comment folder and i was just going through there i saw this i said this is an inappropriate comment please don't go on other youtubers posts celebrating a milestone and ask people to sub um she said, I've also left plenty of supporting and celebratory comments and interactions congratulating you. I said, that doesn't give you the right to ask my subs to subscribe to you, to subscribe to you on a post about me celebrating a milestone. Please understand there's etiquette. Um, and at this point, Aaron and I and men have had many conversations about other people just coming into the lives and doing different things and promoting themselves. And we don't say anything about it in the lives, but this, I was just like, I'm going to help this person out by saying, Hey, like, don't do this. Yeah. Um, she said inappropriate, a little strong of a word. I thought anti-mullion community was so different and supportive when you're getting it. Huh? And I was like, what? Uh, I said the, I, she said the irony is wild. Okay. Julie Joe, would you like me to delete it? I said, I'm sorry. What you think? Because I asked you to not say something like that on my post celebrating my milestone that I'm not supportive. You think I'm the same as MLMers? Are you in it for the subs or to help? And she said, putting your words in my mouth. Did I mention MLMers? You compared? No. Seems like to seems you like to keep this going. I, but let's remember that she said inappropriate. A little strong of a word. I thought anti-MLM community was different and supportive when you're getting it, huh? I think she means when you're getting it, you're not, right? But that's what I took that as. And, you know, I'm that's why I said, I'm sorry, what? Um, and she said, you're putting words in my mouth. Did I mention MLMers? Um, let's see. You think I'm the same as MLMers? Well, a little strong of a word. I thought anti-MLM community was different and supportive. So what she's saying is you're not different. And by different, she means 
compared to MLMers. That's what I took it as. Um, so I'm not putting words in her mouth. I'm just reading the words that she said. Can I also say something? Because I think it's important we talk about boundaries just really Absolutely. quickly. Okay. Because you guys know, like, I'm huge on boundaries. And it was something that I had to learn the hard way. I think it's probably one of the things that I learned from my time in MLM is like, yeah, people say I sound like Ellen DeGeneres all the time. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, I think that if you are attempting to set a boundary, and in my opinion, I, that's what we're seeing here. JJ is saying, hey, please don't do this on my page. Like, this is not appropriate. And I don't and like it. on my celebratory post. I didn't even say page. I was just like on this post celebrating yeah. 5K, you know? Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. You're establishing a boundary. Please don't do this. I don't like this. Yeah. And when somebody, and this is not me shading this individual, it's me speaking generally using this example. When somebody reacts this way, consider it, consider it a, an affirmation of yes, a boundary needs to be in place, whatever that boundary is. Yeah. If somebody that you've set a boundary with <clears throat> reacts in a way where they they appear or it feels to you like they're con they're on the attack, you set a correct boundary with that person, and you may need to actually step that up a notch, in my opinion. So, yeah, I think that's what we're seeing yeah. here. I think um, she said that last one. You're putting words in my mouth. Did I mention Melemers? You compared no. Seems like you you like to keep it going. I said then please explain when you say I thought the anti mlm community was so different and supportive. What are you comparing us to? And why are you saying the entire community? Please explain then. She said, why pin it? Because I pinned this comment. No one was on this comment thread. It was just me because it has been two weeks since I had posted it. But there were so many comments. What you saw 28. I, I was tired of scrolling to find it. Uh, also, yeah. I'd also like to mention, if I could, that by supporting other part, other pieces of your content does not earn anybody the right to come on to any other piece of your content and self-promote. That's, that's an ethics issue, in my opinion. That's a good, that's a good you know, one. if you're doing things for, that's like, that's like helping somebody because you're going to expect something from them. If you're genuinely wanting to help somebody, if you're generally, genuinely wanting to support somebody, you don't do it with anything, expecting anything in return. I don't go and comment on any of the content creators, con you know, videos mm -hmm. and expect them to come to mind and like blow up the comments. I'm going yeah. because I'm supporting people and I like, I like their content. There's nothing that I'm expecting in return. And so the, this very com the comment of I've supported plenty of your other things. You should let this be okay. She did not say that, but that's what she's alleging from her comment, in my opinion. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, I'm going to upload. Okay. She said, or, uh, she said, why pin it? You seem to love drama. I said, I delete it. You skipped right over that and trying to argue. I, I said, I pin it so I can find it quicker because I have a lot of other comments. No one is on here looking at this. You can still delete it. I'm not trying to argue. I'm asking you to explain since you said I put words in your in your mouth. I, I didn't pull it all down. Um, words in your mouth. Yeah. No one that I have come across is as supportive as they claim in the anti-MLM world. That's the irony. Never said you. Shall we keep going? Never said me. Then why? Again, would you say inappropriate little strong word? I thought the anti-MLM community was so different and supportive when you're getting it, huh? Obviously that is towards me because of what I said to her. Because she you said, said, never said you, um, you're gaslighting me at that point. Yes. You are talking about me. Um, I said, I'm trying to help you. You're upset because I set a boundary and told you that I, it wasn't good etiquette. You're gaslighting me and saying that your comment wasn't about me, but you literally put it on my post and aimed it towards me. You and I both know you meant that. I was, you meant that I wasn't supportive and I wasn't different. Just be honest. We need smaller creators to grow because of all our voices matter, but this isn't the way to do it. Would I have happily helped you to grow on your channel if you asked me? Yes, I have helped a couple people already. Which, by the um, way, I, I will speak for JJ and I on this. That is our favorite thing. Just people asking questions and, and stuff like that. I'm like, oh my God, this is exciting because we need more people in this space. Yeah. It's important. All voices matter. And by the way, if you've not reported, or if you've not 
submitted your public comment to the FTC. Shameless plug. Actually, it's not even a shameless plug. Plugging that to go to, if you want to put your story together, mlmchange.org. If you're having trouble with that, mlmchange.org. It's amazing for that. If you see income claims, report it to the FTC. Yeah. Um, the next comment after that was, now nah, you're trying to flip and all this gaslighting? Seriously, I have no time, nor do I even want to that to do that, I'm guessing. I've always shown I was a fan, so this is ridiculous. It was aimed towards you. You commented first about my comment. It's whatever. This is getting out of hand. She said it was aimed towards me. Okay, yeah. I said, you won't answer my questions. I really am still trying to help. There's no flip. I never said anything mean or rude. You also admitted you just lied. You commented something that was her admitting or just lied, which that what she said it was about me um, in that previous thing. You commented something that is inappropriate to do when it comes to YouTube, and that's that. Then you, then you bring in, I thought anti-MLM community was different, supportive. We are. I also have boundaries. You crossed one, and I told you. That's such a beautiful uh, comment. Like, I'm so proud of you. Like, as your friend, I'm like, oh, bestie, setting some boundaries. God, I love it. Thanks, bro. Uh, she said, how did I lie? I said, again. Or she said, again, this is ridiculous. I congratulated you. Thought I could offer another channel to anti MLM people, fans. And I get that. Totally. And she that. can. You totally can. However, this is inappropriate to you on this post. That That's what I said. I will say it's inappropriate to do on any other content creator's content in general. That's my stance on this. JJ is saying on this post. For me, I'm like, don't, don't do that on any piece of content. That's something that should happen in a private message one-on-one -on -one yeah. between two creators or whatnot. Yeah. Um, my apologies for etiquette. Anything you, anything you else you're so sure you're right about? Um, I said, I'm sure right now that the way you're responding to me, putting up boundaries is not okay. Um, you lied by saying what you said about the end time alone community wasn't towards me and then said it was when I asked you to explain because she asked me like, what did she lie about? Um, I'm also sure that if you asked for my help, I wouldn't work with you after this. I love working and collabing with others, but you acting this way isn't going to help you get others to promote your channel. All I said was this is bad etiquette and you went off spouting about the end time alone community and how unsupportive and not different we are not cool literally wanted I literally wanted to help because if it was a bigger creator they might have just blocked you or ignored you and never collaborated with you that's what I said I'm not a big creator I, I'm not if you look at numbers it's not big I'm a smaller creator I see a lot of my comments a lot of bigger creators don't and that's okay <coughs> I see that saying that what you said isn't good etiquette was a bad idea and i should have just let you continue to do this can you please drink some of your tea real quick okay thank you yes i'm momming you right now <sighs> it's all right i don't need a reminder <laughs> <laughs> and okay then she said and this comment is nice this comment is passive aggressive you aren't being nasty i'm sure no one will work with you and how do you know that i never said i'm sure no one will work with you Ever. I said, after this conversation, I know I won't work with you. Huh? You're gaslighting and manipulating what, what I'm saying to keep this crap going. No, I'm not. Where? Where? How many times have I said something to the effect of it's done? Let it go. Would you like me to delete it? First off, you never said it's done or let it go. I don't think you said either of those two things. You said, would you like me to delete it once? And then said, what? you know, something to the effect of like, I guess you want the drama to keep going because you you haven't asked me to delete it. I said in a previous comment, close to the beginning, you can still delete it. Anyone see it on the, where I said pinned comment? I pinned it so I can find it quicker because I have a lot of comments. No one is on here looking. You can still delete it. I'm not trying to argue. I'm asking you to explain since you said I put words in your mouth. <clears throat> so that was that. And then... Uh, I said, where did I say no one will work with you? If you don't want to keep it going, then stop commenting. I said, I'm not stopping you from deleting it. If I'm not manipulating anything or gaslighting you at all, seriously, take a step back and read everything. That was, that was the original comment, which she's never posted. So what I want to do 
and what I'm trying to do is to share the lies in the videos. Um, I'm just going to show you an example of one of the lies. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm not going to show you the video. I'm going to let you hear it. Uh, <coughs> because I don't want you to see who she is. Yeah. Drink some tea, friend. Okay. Um, I might have to do it on here on Instagram. Okay. So y'all saw that. That was the original comments that she never shared the past five months. She's just said I bullied her. So what I did, what I did was, um, I posted that on YouTube. I screenshotted the conversation, blocking her out. I posted it on YouTube because I was tired of this. And I pretty much was saying, and I don't have the videos. They're in one of her videos though. <clears throat> I don't, I don't Julie. save my stories. Um, hi, Julie. <laughs> yeah. Um, Laura and I are chill, by the way, Laura, Laura and I are chill. Um, so this person's not Laura. Um, she was super chill. She apologized. Everything was good. Um, so, so what I said was, yes, Susie, yes. Oh, there's Laura. See, yeah, we're chill. Um, I posted the comments and I pretty much was talking about how don't do this to creators. Um, and don't act like this, like saying the anti mon community is different. And, you know, I thought you were different. I thought you were supportive. No. Don't do that, especially if you say you're anti-MLM. That's ridiculous. We are different than multi-level marketing companies. We're a genre. We are not, we say community, but we're not a community. I actually don't even use that term anymore. Yeah, I, that's something I'm trying to go with. We're not a community. We don't. I don't talk to everyone in the anti-MLM genre. That's not what I do. We don't work with everyone. Yeah. We have colleagues. I would call other anti-MLM people genre, different colleagues of mine. Some I would call friends and the some majority are coworkers. Are, some are coworkers. Yeah. That no, like I, and I, um, said that, you know, I, I, I said that kind of stuff and I don't save my stories. Like I don't, I have that turned off where it saves to your phone. <clears throat> so I posted about that and I said, like, let's have a conversation. And I guess she thought I was talking to her. Like, let's have a conversation on my story, but it was to everyone. Like, let's have a conversation, everyone, you know? Um, yeah, thank you, Dr. Kidu. Kidu. Uh, she said, are you kidding? I said, are you? By the way, I mean, I'll just show it like this where you can see, look, she said, are you kidding? Uh, I said, are you? I just want people to be able to see the receipts, but I don't want you to be able to see her. And can I talk about this just really quickly? This is not about shaming her. This is not talking. This no. is not about talking bad about her. My this story. is about the behavior. It's the same thing that we talk about in all of our videos. It's not about the person, the individual, their looks, or any of those things. It is about the behavior. This is, in my opinion, a problematic behavior, and that is what we are addressing. Which is why JJ is not showing the person. Yeah. We're not There's mentioning no the person's name. Because it's about the behavior. Some of you, you already know. My husband just walking. <laughs> Jerry. Uh, yeah, it's about actions, not the person. Yes. Yeah. I am unwell, Felicity. I am. But but I wanted to do this because she made another video today. And I'll go ahead and play it. Because why not, you know? Uh, I also messaged her. So this is what... So I just had to hop on here real quick because... I am literally in the middle of making a video that um, I really wanted to make, but I'm not good at editing. We all know that. So in putting the receipts, like adding them in to my video is like Show us. not working for me. So I need some help with that. So if anyone can explain that easily or help us out, would love that. Um, it is about our friend JJ. Yep. 
she um she's on a roll. She's been a little busy How? behind the scenes. School? You are busy. So definitely we should talk about it. I think it's just getting worse and worse and worse. The commentary and the treatment of other people is just getting worse and worse and worse. Sure. And I guess I will have to be that voice. So I just had to hop on here real quick because... Okay, so what she's saying is that behind the scenes, I'm I'm getting bad. Where? How do you see behind the scenes? What am I doing? You only see the scenes themselves. You only see me out there. Jerry, um, <coughs> she's saying that I'm getting worse and worse. My treatment of others is getting worse and worse. Where? What? And this is what I said. That's um, amazing, yeah, Laura. Laura is wonderful we really appreciate her um a lot because we had a conversation with her and she was like you know yeah okay so i'm gonna try to share my message i saw your video uh someone sent it to me here short i guess or not short because it's on instagram but whatever it is about how my treatment of People is getting worse and worse and worse. And I just said this to her. Behind the scenes. Could you uh, let me know what it is that I'm doing? I really, excuse me, I really don't know. So, yeah, I'd love to know. That's just what I sent her today because she posted that video earlier. I don't know what she's talking about. Yeah, so she did a live right after. She called me the P word, P-U-S-S-Y. Uh, and then she, the shin she said, cause I, I said in a story like that, she called me the P word. Um, first of all, how is that using that word derogatory in a derog? What am I trying to say? I don't know, but she lied about it. Remember derogatory. No way? Is that right? That sounds weird. I don't know. Yeah. Like that is a strong, beautiful organ within the female body. But yeah. you're going to use it in a negative way. Like, I don't, I can't stand that. I think that's crazy. Yes. Yeah. And so Julie, myself, and Erin were on her live that she did about me. She said some really rough things and she was very upset. However, she had not come to me. We had not had a conversation about it at all, other than the conversation on YouTube. Um, so he decided to put out a live. The only way to say the P word is when you're wanting to do <laughs> Ian, I love you. <laughs> um, so what Julie's saying is we were on there. She apologized at the end. And then the next day it was all bad again. Like, and I don't even think she was apologizing to me necessarily. She might've been, but she was just like so upset, got so angry. And then was like, sorry, y'all, you know? And yeah, we, we got on a call together, Aaron and I. One time. <laughs> 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 and I, we were like oh my gosh that was so heartbreaking to watch like it's like oh my gosh that's so sad because maybe she had some horrible experience with someone else and it caused her to react that way and so we were good as gold at that point like I was like okay like you know whatever and then comes the videos about me the lives the real um, back to back back to back where she says a lot of lies and I'm not lying about that. And she's going to take this and be like, no, I didn't lie. However, yes, you did. And you also didn't show the original messages. I never bullied you. I never said any, I didn't even say your name. Now there was one point where I left her name in there just a little bit, but it wasn't her full name, which is what she goes by. And people didn't even, like Aaron went through it. Julie Lystad went through it. They didn't even see it. Like they were like, I, I can't find it. Um, yeah. So first she was upset that I blocked, that I posted it about her. She was like, how dare I do that to her? And then she was upset that I didn't show her name. Um, so it's just going back and forth. And then she was upset that I didn't tag her. But the whole thing why she exploded was that I posted those comments that we had together and blocked her name out. And she was just upset that I posted those comments. <clears throat> I do think also that there is a certain <laughs> amount of, and this is not, me trying to make her sound ignorant at all but I think that there is a there is not a full in my opinion not a full understanding of how Instagram works and some of the features on Instagram which is just 
causing more of the problem. Yeah. Like I remember like the tag, like, why didn't you tag me in this? Well, because that story was not geared towards her. It was geared towards Julie Joe's audience. Like, Hey, let's have a conversation about this. Why didn't you tag me in this? It wasn't about her. It was about the behavior, but she's trying to make it and has been for five months about her. And it's, it's interesting when you look at all of the pieces and you remove your emotions, because at first I'm, of course, I'm going to be emotional. I have somebody that's going after my friend and, you know, she's emotional as well. That's we're humans. Right. But yeah. when you remove the emotions and you look at the facts and you look at the receipts, you can clearly see, in my opinion, a pattern of wanting more subscribers and followers. Yeah. And that's why this stuff is happening in my opinion. So I, I do think that there's a little bit of a not fully understanding how Instagram works. And, and, and what this led to was like me being doxxed. Like what all of this led to, she started working with someone yeah. and everyone knows this person. And it led to me being doxxed and having to use the law to stop that and not even stop it. Just, you know, make sure it stops because it's against the law to harass people. So it led to that. Yeah. And it led to two three other people making videos about me who don't know me, who have no idea what went down, saying that I'm such a bully, telling people that I'm such a bully and that I'm so awful. And it's like, no, this is what happened. This was the original conversation. The, I'm not a bully. I never mentioned her name. Like I never said it was her, not one time. And, you know, people are saying that, I called her out. I sent people to attack her, um, that I sent my people after her. One, never would I ever do that. Um, I like what she said. Agreed. She took this incident and then used it to pair up with pro MLMers in hope of gaining more subscribers. And that's, it just seems like that's what happened. And now she's wanting to make another video about me because apparently I'm going off I'm going unhinged. I'm behind the scenes. I'm, I'm doing terrible things. What, um, what I did do yesterday was Brianna. We all know Brianna who she posted a video using my content. So I copyright claimed her or whatever. I strike because she took my video, didn't add commentary to it, put it in a video form saying that Riley and I are grifters that we've been lying this whole time that he's in an MLM. No, he was in camp gladiator in 2019 as a certified personal trainer. Erin, <coughs> tell JJ to stop bullying us. She won't stop going off. So unhinged. Worst. It's terrible. So, <laughs> so what, so let me explain what this person's saying that literally called the scripters, liars, all of that saying that, you know, I'm exposed. No, my husband was a camp gladiator. He was a certified personal trainer for camp gladiator. They said they were between an MLM and uh, a franchise. At this time, I was being successful in an MLM. So I'm still in the MLM and he's joined this thing that kind of looks like it, but isn't completely like an MLM. Definitely is a little sketchy from looking at it from my point of view now. However, they are now, as of 2020, when my husband was in it, became a franchise and then he left a little while after and now works as a not going to tell you not going to tell you has a great full-time job with benefits and everything and he's great we're great so no i didn't lie to everyone i didn't say that you know i i'm not hiding anything it was public on his public profile. Now he made his Instagram private because y'all are crazy. By y'all, I don't mean y'all, if you know what I mean. And he's a private citizen. He he doesn't want to be in this. And he shouldn't have to. So no one's lying on my end. They're lying. And, you know, now they're probably, they're trying to go to the anti mlm Reddit and do these different things and start these exposed stuff because now they think that acting anti mlm in the Reddit will make it look like the anti mlm people actually believe that. Oh, we love Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> we really do. Um, well, thank you, DC. That's really kind of you to say. I just, I, I'm just tired of people lying 
I, you know what? I will take it full force and I've taken it for months, but I am going to speak up about it now since she's using it as a way to gain subscribers and views since her most watched video is a video about me bullying her when in reality, never once did I bully her. We and no receipts were shown. Talk. We didn't even talk. Um, Have a great date night, Emily. I love that for you. Oh, yeah. We appreciate you. It's not Brianna, but Brianna did do that. And we and I don't really care about what Beatrix or Bethany or whatever Brianna, Beth, whatever her name is. I don't care about what she says. But I think that to a certain point, the people who subscribed to me, my members, because I already did a member video way back because I thought my members deserved to hear my story from my side. Even though they believed me, they knew I wasn't like that. I, they respectfully pay to be a part of my channel. So I want to be respectful in the sense that I give them what happened. Um, yeah. Of course, I didn't believe her, but she never showed the receipts because she knew she was like, that's the thing. And she's going to take this video, I bet you $10, and she's going to make another video about it lying again. But at this point, I don't care. I shared what she didn't share. I shared the conversation. Well, did you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't have my story saved, but I'm sure she does. Um, and there's, there's all her live videos. There's her videos on her YouTube and I'm still not gonna say who it is. And they're all up and, mo and you know, Queen of Spade has some about me, this other girl ugh, subscribers or whatever. I don't know. Has some about me. Okay. That's fine. They're all saying I'm bullying this person, but I'm not. And you all know. And that's what I wanted to do. I finally just wanted to share my story and the actual conversation that happened because it had never been shared for five months. And all of that led to me having to get a lawyer and I'm tired of it. So that's the story. That's what happens. That's the original conversation. Yeah. With the receipts. With the receipts from the and conversation. This is not to shame her. This is no. You no, know, like just like we say, just like we say in all of our videos, don't go to this person's profile. Don't go to their YouTube channel. You know, don't post any crazy stuff in their comments. Not to say that you guys would, but who knows who's going to, you know, watch this after the fact. This is not about shaming her. This is not about making her feel any type of way. It is about the behavior. It is about JJ telling her story, showing the receipts, because she's had to be quiet because of legal advice for the last five months. She had to be quiet. She had to just take it. And now she's able to... Um, share the receipts and tell her side of the story. And one thing I have noticed is that I saw a comment that said birds of a feather and they, they do flock together. Yeah. And it's very interesting when somebody is upset about boundaries that are set. Uh, maybe it's two anti MLM <laughs> content creators. And uh, again, this is my opinion. This is not me shaming her or anybody else that may or may not act this way. But I do feel like when somebody says, well, you're just like MLM. One, that's, in my opinion, that's coming from a place of trauma. Yeah, because they know we're not. You know, oh, well, you're just like them. You're just like those people that hurt me. Well, no, we're not. We're all healing. We're all in yeah. different areas, like, of our, our healing journey. And that's okay. But in order not in order when somebody responds with something that's like, well, you're just like the MLMers. It's because they're hurt and those hurt feelings are valid. So if yeah. this person is watching this, which I hope they are, I really do hope that they're watching this okay. because I am going to beg you yet again to please not do this. Not because JJ can't handle it. Not because the anti-MLM genre can't <laughs> handle it. Because we want you to grow. Because your voice is important and you can grow without making controversial videos about JJ or other content creators. We want you to grow. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's very interesting to me. Um, and again, please do not send this person any shade. Please do not go to her anything and drop any kind of crazy comments because at the end of the day the more voices that we have in the anti-mlm genre the better and in my opinion 
having this conversation about ethics, I think is really, really important because there are some people that just don't know. Yeah. And just like JJ said earlier, if we don't tell them, how do they know? Yeah. And here's the deal. This is what I love what Kristen said. I just know someone's going to claim this information control because you won't say the name, but if you did say the name, it'd be bullying. Well, I don't think it'd be bullying. Um, however, I think it'd be kind of shitty. Uh, and two, either way I lose. Either way I lose because she got upset for me putting on our comments, acting as though everyone would know exactly who it was. But then she also got pissed at me for blocking her name, saying I'm a P-U-S-S-Y and that I should have tagged her because she tags people. So no matter what I do, I lose. And at this point, I don't care. My story's out there. The original conversation is out there, which by the way, she did delete. From what I know, maybe I did back then. I don't know. Someone deleted it. I don't think I deleted it though. She's Laura said, I think it's a problem with deprogramming from MLM that they may have been in because I know it's hard to break the cycle from all. Yeah, 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 yeah it is. Um, and I think, I think this is exactly why when this person went live and JJ, myself and Julie were on specifically why I was like, listen, you don't have to do this. It, it, this is not how to, you, know, you don't need to handle it this way. This is not how to do this because in the end, in my opinion, I feel like she was just hurting herself and the, and the movement. Yeah. She was very emotionally upset. Um, and you could tell, and I hated that for her. It wasn't my fault that she was emotionally upset. I'm not going to take blame for that. It was her, obviously what she's been through. Um, and her feelings are valid and they still they are. are. Her and actions real. are not okay. No, exactly. Her feelings are valid. Her emotions were real from, from what I could tell. And um, her actions were not okay. And like you just said, Erin, I think uh, it all it does is hurt the, commu the community, yeah. right? The genre, the, the, the anti-MLM mm -hmm. at its core when people do that. Hi, moms. <laughs> oh, thanks, <laughs> Josh. Um, but anyway, I just, you know, whatever. I don't care if people tell me I shouldn't, you don't need to talk about it. I don't care. I said it. I shared the original message, which is what I've been wanting to do for five months and whatever, make a video about it. It seems like she probably will, or she's already in the process of it. And I don't care. That's pretty much where I'm at. The videos aren't going to hurt me. My truth is out there. The truth is out there. The original conversation, which for five months has not been out there is out there. Yeah. So yeah. I have a message for this person if she if she is listening, watching, or if somebody sends this to her. Oh, also one more thing before you oh, say yeah. your message. I messaged her and asked her if she wanted to what what did I what did I say? Hey, let's have a conversation about this essentially is Yeah, like throw it under the rug or something. Like, hey, do you wanna, you know, like do you wanna just get this drama over with? Have a conversation. She would not talk about that. She would talk about something else. Why did you ask Queen of Spade if you and her could have a conversation and tell your side? That's what she asked me. And I said, because you've been able to tell your side so much. Yeah. Why can't I tell her? Now, I never had that conversation because I know that wasn't going to go well at all. Um, but it showed me that she didn't want me to put my story out there. This was months ago. And I said, still, do you want to nip this in the bud, I think, or something like that? I use that phrasing. Yeah. And she never messaged back, but she saw it. Bury the hatches. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Bygones be bygones. Love that. Yeah, because at the end of the day, this hurts the movement because it's <laughs> one voice that has been lost because yeah. of, I guess, a trauma response, in my opinion. I don't I don't know. But um, if this person is watching, don't make the video. Instead, message JJ back. Have a conversation about it. Because yeah, we, back. Yeah, we do want you to be a part of the movement. And, and I've said this multiple times in this live. But just like I said on that live of yours, listen, don't don't do this. Well, and you know what? If she does it, I don't care. I don't care. I, I understand it. where you're coming because, from. Because like, what are you going to post? What have I been so bad about? Nothing. Yeah. There's nothing that I've been so poor about or so bad about. There's just nothing there. She wants people to click the video and view it, though, because that's how her channel grows. Yeah. If my name's on there. She even did one about Chelsea, but it didn't get as many views. I don't know why that's, well, because people say dumb weird shit about Chelsea all the time, but 
my name's on there. I'm known as the, as a nice person. I freaking am. But I'm also really strong and true about justice. I really care about the truth. Yeah. And I'm also going to be honest too. And if my honesty comes off as being an asshole, okay, that's your point of view. I don't think I was. That's just I, you being assertive. Yeah, I'm being assertive, but I look like an asshole, but it's being an assertive person and it's setting a boundary. And if you're not okay with that, then you're not okay with that. But don't make up lies. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anyway. You feel better? How do you feel? Good. I'm just glad that people know now. I'm, And I, it's not yeah. like a big deal. Like, I, I don't think that all of y'all were going to believe it. You know, like, I don't, I don't think that. But I'm, she has not put that message out there yet. She has not put that big first conversation out there at all. At all. Yeah. And I'm tired of it. I put it out there now. And she's going to be upset that it's out there. And I want her to ask herself why. Yeah. Why didn't you put it out at first? Why haven't you done it in five months? And why are you upset now that I put it out there? It's a simple question. And we all know the answer to it. So we'll see what she does with this video and what she says. But I don't really care at this point. Like it's a moot point my channel's still growing my my subs, like crazy my subs are amazing i'm having so much fun with everybody the videos yeah. i'm doing the people i'm working with the people i talk to in the comments all of y'all like i have the best time and it hasn't changed anything other than i've learned that i don't always have to like you know say the truth necessarily like I, like for five months i was quiet and I'm very proud of you for that because I know that was really hard for you. It was really and hard, yeah. I'm I'm proud of you for handling that in the way that you have. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. It, yeah. Aaron's been there through the whole thing. I've I faced her multiple times. Can I just say it now? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. What do lawyers say? Yeah. Okay. And I'm I'm always like, well, what did the legal team say? Have you reached out? To Even before. <laughs> Well, and to be fair, this, this wasn't the conversation really about that. I was talking to my lawyer too much about like, this wasn't, you know, talk, telling my story about this. It was another, mm -hmm. you know, another conversation and another thing, but like, yeah. you know, so yeah. Oh, thanks Julie. Because, you know, Julie, Aaron, Chelsea and I were, we're good friends. And, you know, they were telling me just don't do it. And, and back then I'm glad that they did uh, because I was really emotionally upset at this point. I don't care. I just, and your feelings fair. were valid as well. And they still yeah. are. Yeah. And I was upset because not because she posted anything, not because, you know, she was saying bad things, but because I didn't want people to actually believe the lies. I'm not that person. I'm not a bully. I'm yeah. not. And I, you know, y'all didn't really believe them, but still, I'm just happy I got to share it. Um, just side note, I love when you two do lives together. Oh, thank you. We love doing lives together too. We really do. <laughs> About whatever. <laughs> Look at my new vase, y'all. Oh my gosh, isn't it so pretty? Do you see the colors? Like the reflective colors? Wait, it, there's color. Yeah. Oh. Do you see the purple? And I mean, like, I think my I think my mega pint is hitting me a little bit. So I'm like, wait, oh. there's colors. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So in the sun, it's like pink and purple. Like it's got a very like reflective. It's That's really so pretty. Yes. Riley, where are the flowers to go in that? At the store. They're at the Riley. He left my flowers at the store. Oh. <laughs> Can I tell you guys something? Yeah. I'm gonna be 42 on Saturday. <laughs> yes, I know. My for you you're such That's a hot cute. 42 year old look at you oh, thank you you're just saying that because i was momming you today like what are you doing how are you feeling oh, oh charlene oh, that's really sweet i i appreciate that um, that's amazing oh my dog goes around riley put them up so that we could have this live without interruption baby we have to have the dogs in the live <laughs> Oh, thanks, Felicity. I appreciate you. you and thanks, me? guys. Here. I'm very excited about it. I'm actually very excited about it, but part of me is like, come here. She's going to buy really up. fast. <laughs> Thank you, Ian. Yeah. I appreciate that. Um, I'm very excited because I am getting a facial tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. my yeah. time. And... <sighs> is that Luna? Yeah. I freaked out with the microphone. I said, look. And she was like, 
<laughs> so now she's freaked out. But uh, I love that Jessica said this. Why aren't why aren't we all flying in to Vegas? But, well, I'm flying in in early July. I was not, I, you noticed that I've not said anything about that because I was waiting. Like, I didn't know if you, Laura, thank you. My God. Love that. Happy um, I was not going to say anything until you said something about it because I don't know. I just felt like, I don't know. Um, the besties are going to meet in person, you guys. We've never even. Maybe. Okay. So I'm pretty sure I can fit two chairs here. Oh, oh yeah. We, we might have, have video, video coming video for you, together. I'm sure. Maybe we can do like an MLM fails together. Oh my god, I'm dying. Oh, that would be the best. We're gonna have what? To shoot two oh, videos. Go ahead, sorry. We're gonna have to shoot two videos because yeah, one for my channel, one for yours. One for your channel, like two different videos. One for your channel that is just for your channel, one for my channel that's just for my channel. And we gotta go live together because I know they're gonna oh flip god. out if we don't go yeah. live together. Yes, absolutely, 100%. I'm literally so excited. I mean, I'm going to be there for three, four, five, six, seven, four days, like, well, five days, because we'll get there at, like, 6 a.m. on the first day. So, like, four entire days, and the last day we leave early. But, and I'm going to be there for the 4th of July. Yeah, we're, you know what? We're going to have to start planning this. I think it'd be yeah. fun to do, and you guys let us know, like, what kind of videos you would love to see us do together in person. Um. We yeah. got to do a live and we got to do two videos. Yeah. If you, um, if you see a video, you're like, oh my gosh, they should do this one live in person. Just send it to one of us and say that you should look at doing this one with Aaron live in person, you know, um, when you meet up and I'll, so yeah, four day live, <laughs> four day live. What, do you think I, gonna, what do you think it's going to be like when we meet in person? Exact same. I think we'll I'm going to be like, oh, your after. legs are long. <laughs> what? Yeah, I have long ass legs, bro. I think you're gonna be like, dang, your legs are short. <laughs> long ass torso, Aaron. Oh yeah, for real. That's accurate. Um, uh, I'm so excited to do a vlog. Thing. What? I've never done a vlog. A vlog. Yeah, we could though. And I don't. Like, I would have to research that. I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I By the way, I'm seeing all the comments about people that either just had their birthday or their birthday is coming. Happy birthday to all of you guys. That's amazing. A vlog. Like a Vegas, like, like a bestie Wait, meetup in Vegas vlog? Yes. I think that might be fun. We, like, have so many, uh, we have so many things that we can do. Because 4th of July, so I'm yeah. sure things, and then it's Vegas. And I have, you know, the hotel with the, all the pools and stuff. So, lots of stuff that we can do. And, um, you know, Vegas. I just ordered a new bathing suit. I'm ordering one tomorrow. I ordered a one piece, and I'm going to be like this. Yes, I ordered, I'm ordering a one piece tomorrow. You mean to show it? Okay, yeah. I need some. I need somebody to. I need some. Have you ever done a vlog? I have not done a vlog. Ever. Wait, Savannah Marie lives near Vegas too. She lives in Arizona. She lives four hours from Vegas. That'd be fun if she would be willing to come down and like hang out or something. I don't know if she's able to, but that would be really great. Yeah. Oh, this is a great. I feel like this is a great question. You should answer this, JJ. Did y'all meet because of doing these videos? Yes, we did. Well, we actually met because I was going to do a video on Prove It, and I and Aaron knows a lot about Prove It, and so we did a FaceTime call. And I didn't anticipate talking to her after. Like, we yeah. just did a Face, like, or we did a Zoom just to get, I was just getting info about Prove It. That's it. And I spilled all the tea. All of the tea. All of the tea. <laughs> Yep. It's funny too because when I look back at that time, oh, that's hot. It's See, chill, but, you know. Okay, I'm just gonna be real, like real, real. My boobs are far too heavy for a halter. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. I just needed something to make sure that my tummy looks cute. I have a little pouch, you know, got a little tummy pouch at the bottom. Damn. I have and two I just, children. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I don't. But, but. It's okay, and it's I'm fine. a cute little swimsuit that makes it look cute. You know, I got to style the pouch. Can I give a little Bye. merch teaser? Is that is that okay? Absolutely. Give the merch teaser. Um, I am making a – this is top secret information because I have not released it yet, but I am making a merch design Excellent. that is – I don't even know what the word is. How would you describe that picture I sent you? Powerful. Okay. 
You like it? Yeah, I love that. It's powerful. Mark. Shouting oh, out. Uh, not shouting out. Destroying toxic diet culture. Yeah. yeah. That's coming very soon. Yeah. Oh, Amber and I, your tummy is perfect the way it is. Yes. And when I show it off, I want to make it cute, you know? Yeah. I saw a TikTok. I feel like if I needed to hear this, I feel like somebody on here needs to hear it. And there was this TikTok and this guy was like, listen, the most attractive part of a woman is that little tummy. And there were women in the comments that were like, this is a joke, right? And I was, and he was like, no, I'm so serious. Like it is so attractive. And I'm like, the little fupa? Yeah. Sweet, but I love that. Riley loves my little fupa. I mean, I just, I found that fascinating and watching all the, all the women in there go, I haven't wanted to wear this because I was self-conscious of that. And this guy was in the comments like, no, wear it, please wear it. Oh, I love like, Not in a creepy way, like in a. You do you, boo. Yeah. Wear what you want to wear. <laughs> Um, the, oh, I know I thought of you, Amber. Actually, when I was creating this, I thought about you. I did just make merch and I posted it, but I wouldn't post it one place. It's, you know, because I, I recently said the sense isn't making. And people were like, make merch. And I was like, Absolutely. okay. So first off, I made shirts and mugs that says the sense is not the sense isn't making. But my favorite thing I made was the anti-MLM slides. You oh my see? god, there's you know how I love some slides. Dude, yeah. I mean they're expensive, but it's because it's it's because of spring tea itself like I can't like lower it much at all like if I lowered it'd be like three bucks but I can't um so it's but but they're so cute and then the they are really cute. I love the design it's so simple and like I love right that to, right to the point we love you Julie we love yeah it's a pyramid scheme go follow her on Instagram she's literally 10 out of 10 she's one yes. of our besties and like, Amber who else oh yeah Amber and I I love Amber She's so, she's, Amber's like sh straight fucking G, man. She'll go straight up on someone's comment section. I know, and I love it. Like a gross MLM post. And be like, that's like lying about like diets and like, you know, all that stuff. And she'll just straight up be like, and I'm like, yes. Mamas are like, they make merch to make money off you. But we ask for, you ask, I would never have made merch if y'all didn't ask for it. Seriously. Yeah. Do you remember when we started talking about merch and I was like, this feels really awkward. Yeah, this is weird, but they keep asking. So I guess. They keep asking for it. Yeah. And, and so, yeah. I mean, if you ask for it, I try to make it. And if you've asked for it and I haven't made it yet, just ask again because I probably forgot. Yeah. And any designs that your yeah. favorite creators have. If you're like, players, oh, like sure. hey, I'd love to have this in like a flowy tank top, or I'd love to have yeah. this in a slide. Just message them and ask I, them. I did. By the way, if, if you're a content creator and you don't have merch, you, you <laughs> let's get on that. Yeah, but, it's so fun, and it's free to like just have the spring tea thing. But someone asked me, they're like, "Can you make it like a V-neck instead of just the basic T-shirt?" And I was like, "Yeah, absolutely," because yeah. we have the design saved in Canva. We just pop them on, and it's good. I got Rachel. It. Oh, yay, Rachel. Yay. I'm so happy because we were talking about that for the past few days. Yep. So Rachel, um, she sang to be, I guess what she tried out to be in this. Uh, uh, my brain has fallen out of my ears. She tried out to be in Rent, which is a musical. And she got on the ensemble, which we're very proud. That's amazing. I need an allegedly in my pen and coffee mug. I love that. Aaron says it literally. Aaron said it from the very beginning, though, all the time. Yeah. I do have an, in my opinion, coffee mug. And yeah. it's super cute because it has little bees on it. It's it, and honeycombs. It's like one of my favorites. Amal did. I, Good. I'm obsessed with them all. Anyone else just absolutely obsessed with her? Just obsessed. Stunning, smart, elegant, nosy. You know what I mean? What'd she say? Uh, I used it the other day. Um, cozy and nosy. I used cozy it the other day, and, and I was like, Riley, I'm gonna go be cozy and nosy. And I straight up voice messaged. I said, Listen, what I I was like, Mall. I literally just said this out loud. Adore her. Yeah, go follow her as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this I am actually thinking about making, and it's funny. My mom sent me a quote today. Uh -huh. Not a quote, like a yeah, like a. She sent me a quote, or she took some. 
she took like a Facebook quiz. And the oh. answer was, I'm not responsible for my facial expressions. <laughs> this I get from my mom. Love that. Big fan. I love that, man. We love your mom. I've talked to Aaron's mom and Aaron's dad, but mostly Aaron's mom. Yeah. And she's watching videos of mine with Aaron, I think. Yeah. Like, yeah, Aaron's mom is just is is awesome. They're very supportive, those two. Yeah. Ten out of ten. Um Oh, and we're not, I made one piece of merch <laughs> because I had told the Autumn. <laughs> to Go buy her merch, you guys. Go buy Amber's merch. <laughs> you got reported for bullying? Oh, listen. I hear a plate coming. I know how, how much y'all oh. love. Thanks, babe. Oh, Jerry. I love how, I, I know how much y'all love seeing, oh, hello, babe. I know how much you guys love seeing my food plates yes. in my Insta stories. So I found someone the other day on YouTube. I'm kind of obsessed with them at this point. Not obsessed, but I got to show y'all who it is. I was, she tagged me in her video. I was like, oh my gosh, I, I love it. Uh, what's her name? Let me see if I, it's still up here. Did you see my plate? Oh, no, no, no. Let me see, JJ. Ooh, that looks delicious. This would be pot roast, some rice, and I'll probably have some vegetables and a fruit after this. Well, let me, I need to show y'all who it is because big fan. Um, also, thanks for the love on all my videos recently. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't watched my most recent one, that was a fun one to do. Um, okay, where, where is it? Where is it? Oh, here we go. Okay. Um, I love this person. Okay, I'm going to share their screen. Turd oh girl, my yeah, God, you guys. Turd girl's amazing. Um, I'm gonna share my screen. Okay, her name. Okay, this is her name's Kelgore. Okay, first off, look, I didn't even know her, but she has that many subscribers. This is such she her editing is so incredible. I'm so jealous of her editing. Um <laughs> she, she's so funny too, dude. Like it's capitalism. Okay, I've I love this video. She tagged me in it, and that's the only way I knew about it. Um, she doesn't do only anti MLM, which I love because I also want to get, I also don't want to do just anti MLM anymore. I have so many other things that I want to do. Um, but she's great. She's funny. She is just. I need to watch that video. She tagged me in it too. And I was like, what is this? And then I got distracted. Yeah. Big fan. Um, oh, you love. Go okay. So, okay, cool. I see. I didn't know about her until she tagged me. So I'm glad that she tagged me. Oh, that looks so good. Mississippi pot roast. Yes. I love that list of it. Another good channel is somebody. Oh, Eva, Eva and I are friends. Oh, dude, go follow this person right now. We are such good friends. I love this girl. Mm -hmm. Um, Someone tagged me. I think one of my... Okay, I'm going to share my screen. One of my uh, members tagged me in a video of hers. And thank you for that. If y'all see people out there that maybe I haven't mentioned or anything. Okay. Ava is incredible. She also has a great Instagram account too. Um, but y'all go give her some love. Like seriously, she is so good. Like don't <laughs> Eric worry this great video. Oh my gosh. It was I, so good. Yeah. She has just overall really good videos, but this one was really intense. It was the Jesse Lee jokes about the war in Ukraine. Oh, that was intense. Yeah. So EVA Mateja. I don't know how to say it, Mateja, but M A T E J A. Um, yeah, let's go like bump up those subs. Like she, mm -hmm. she is someone who deserves to have a large channel. I think she does it so eloquently. She is adorable, smart, just she has this class about her. She's wonderful. Yeah, I love her content. Oh god, that pot rose just looks so good. I've just not been hungry the last few days, you know. Well, you don't feel good. Yeah, I have. I would make you a plate if you were here. Thank you, dude. I didn't even finish my whole three musketeer bar. I had three. Oh my god, I'd like I'd like <laughs> to have a three musketeer bar. I had three pizza rolls for dinner. Those little. Oh my god, the try guy videos. <laughs> Wait, try guy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I blame my daughter for my pooch. <laughs> um. Anyway, I yeah it. She's great. I, I think she's just adorable. Um, yeah. Okay. I well, think, that, that's what yeah, I got. I think that that is a perfect example of 
we need all the voices. Yes. Yeah. And, and the only reason I know about these people though, is well, one, Kelgore tagged me in her stuff. That was really helpful. Yeah. I need um, to watch that tonight. But two, y'all tagged me in, in Ava's stuff or Eva. I don't know exactly how to say her name, um, but I think I just say Ava or Eva. I think I'm just saying Eva. Um, y'all tagged me in it. And that, and, and I don't watch a lot of anti MLM YouTube videos all the time. That's just like, that would just you be can't. So we can't, you know. I would love to sit down and watch every creator's video. There's just, there's oh, no yeah. way. Respectfully Sarcastic is another good one. Mm -hmm. She actually was watching her before I even started YouTube. I was watching Isabella, Deanna, um, Chelsea, um, so Respectfully Sarcastic. There was, I was watching these. Savannah. Started. Oh, Savannah, 100%. Jessica. Actually, I don't know if I started watching Jessica because I think that she started maybe a little bit before me mm, okay um i found jessica on tiktok first she was on tiktok first so that's where i found her and and that's when i started i found roberta there like that's when i was like in doing mm. MLM stuff at that point um, yeah shout out to roberta yes i did watch kiki but she doesn't do anti-mlm videos she like she does she's done like five and two years or something like that you know so it's not like uh she's not she she has a different channel where she posts all the time and it's just vlogs she's not an anti mlm creator she's a vlogger um and she does very well with it too but sometimes she very rarely she'll post a video about something on that bigger channel um and i think she she's done like four or five anti mlm ones um and they're all great she recently posted one about anti-MLM, I think. Recently, the Monet. I don't know. I don't know. So, oh, yeah. Amy. She does a lot of beach body stuff. Yeah. Yeah, she does. She did. Yeah. She did, like, what was it, like, three beach body training calls or something like that? Yeah, she puts out a lot of beach body content, which is good because, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But her vlogs are also good on her other channel. She has, like, 25K subs on the other channel. And I like her vlogs. I think she's so, she's a cool person. Um but yeah, she mostly just does vlogs now. However, if she when she posts on that big channel, I definitely watch it. Um, gracious expectations. I miss AIM psychology. Me too. I know she's busy. But yeah. I think I'm going to voice message her, ask her how she's been. Just check. In case she sees this, we miss you. We do miss you. Um, but you know, like sometimes people Life. were people were trying to, you know. People were attacking her. Yeah. And expecting too much for they were like, you know, I'm not going to sub to you because you don't post consistently. Bro, first off, you don't know her. Second, I barely, I don't even really know her, but I know that she's a busy as hell person. And yeah. she's alive. You know what I mean? Brianna Jewel, I love. So oh, yeah. close to me in Austin. Like she asked me to, <laughs> she said we should get together a few months ago. Oh my God, you should. I, I want to. I want to really badly. Um, yeah, she yeah. does go hard for beach body. That's so true. Yeah, because she's in school for her getting. She's become a dietitian. I think she's getting her master's or something like that now. Yeah, she's getting her master's to be a dietitian, and so she does such great videos. Brianna Joel. Yeah, I'm gonna. If y'all want to go follow her, I'm gonna put her name right here. Yeah. Big fan. Big fan. Yeah. Uh, she's so. Her dogs are. I talk to her sometimes on Instagram. I'll just call and be like, oh my God, your dogs are so freaking cute. <laughs> Love that. They are. They are so cute. Um, but yeah, we go to the same farmer's market. I would, oh, we should meet at the farmer's market. Oh my God, you should. Why haven't you done that? Because we haven't been to the farmer's market in weeks. Oh. Riley and I haven't been in weeks. Uh, I think we first talked like a month ago, Brianna and I. And she met up with Deanna a while ago. And uh, I, we just haven't, maybe a month and a half ago, I don't know. We just haven't connected. Like, I've been busy, and I haven't gone to that farmer's market in a long time. Sundays, we usually go to Riley's parents' house. You should go this Sunday. Me too. Yeah, if I'm feeling okay. Mm-hmm. I'll be better by Sunday. I messed with my doctors, and I was like, bro, uh, this medicine's not working. And they were like, you're going to need to make another appointment. I was like, nope, just switch my medicine. I'm yeah. not making another appointment. Good for you. 
heck no, that's not happening. I'm not paying you again to say, okay, yeah, it's, yeah, we'll switch it. No. Did they say okay? I don't know. I haven't checked it. I mean, good for you. Because, <laughs> like, props not. Watch me say They already friend. saw you. They just saw me on Sunday. I was like, you, it's a science infection. It's turning into bronchitis now because the antibiotics are low level. Those didn't even work for me when I was younger. What did but, they give you? Uh, amoxicillin. Oh, yeah. And that didn't, I, I didn't realize that was a medication that didn't work for me. But I talked to my parents and my, my dad's told me before, amoxicillin is not, doesn't never work for you when you were younger. You need like a pack or something. Well, I think a lot of people have resistance to amoxicillin because it's such a broad spectrum and it's been yeah. prescribed forever. Yeah. Forever, but you know what I mean? Yeah. And so I didn't realize when she said that, I didn't realize it was the one. Yeah. That didn't help. So now my sinus infection, bro, nothing's happening. <laughs> it's just getting bronchitis. -y. Yeah, we don't have time for that. I don't. Well, we do need to keep it high. Keep it high. <laughs> like we talked about earlier. We need to keep it high, not down in the lungs, in the ch chest and lungs. Keep it up. <laughs> keep it up here. Stay right here, bro. But it, it's moving <laughs> right here. <laughs> it's starting to get asthma, you, which is not good. We were we were FaceTiming earlier. Keep it up <laughs> high. I was standing in my kitchen. I was like, no, we need to keep this high. <laughs> yes, I love that. It was so funny. Um, but I asked my teacher and I was like, can I can I take the final? On oh, I just asked her. She said I could take the final on Friday because I feel. Oh, like, good. I'm glad you did that. Like, I don't want to take a final feeling this way. I mean, could you do it? Yeah, of course you could. Yeah, but I wouldn't. It, yeah. yeah, I think that's smart. Well, uh. So sinus infections, no, uh, I, you can get, um, I always get antibiotics for sinus infections. Bacterial but, sinus infections. Yeah, bacterial sinus infections. And it's, uh, um, turns into bronchitis if I don't, which is what's going on. And then one time it turned into pneumonia when I was 18 and it was bad. I was down for the count for three weeks. So, um, yeah, but anyway, that's what's going on with me. <laughs> Um, so we we definitely went off on a tangent for like the last 30 minutes yeah, but it was so fun right refreshing i love that about our lives i think they're so fun that way yeah. but we're gonna get to meet in july you guys yeah. it's gonna be fun riley and i are gonna go to a show y'all can come to the show with us i don't know what show we're going to though oh well, you just let me know okay you can buy tickets and go with us yeah <gasps> that would literally be the best i it probably is gonna be like a cirque delay thing oh i'm in Okay, because like you know, I mean, there's not a whole lot. Go to um, when you get here, depending. I mean, depending on where you're staying, there's these like ticket for ticks for tonight booths that have discounted tickets. Should I wait to buy yes. tickets for them? Okay. Yeah. Those, those son of beaches are expensive. Ve listen, Vegas is expensive. The shows and and all of those things that are geared towards tourists are they're expensive. Yeah, I think Gaga is here too. <gasps> Lady Gaga. What if we go see Lady Gaga and she plays, she sings Judas? Wait for wait, is she really gonna be there? I think so. I would literally buy tickets to see her right now. I'm pretty sure. I'll look. Um. Yeah. They. They're. Yeah. Someone's got to. I'll be have there. to wear my Judas merch. Yes. I'll bring my Judas mug. I used my Judas mug the other day. I faced her here. Judas mug. I finally ordered it. I just, it was slipping my mind, but I told you the other, yesterday I was going to order some and I did. Whoa, whoa. If you like coffee, strong black coffee. Caffeine is a natural bronchodilator. It will Ooh. open your air passages to aid in having more productive coughs. Well, that's actually really great. I love that. I do love coffee and I don't mind strong black coffee. I've been taking Mucinex. I took Mucinexium for the first time today. Which yeah, I'm glad you got some. <laughs> um but yeah oh there's a residency right now gaga does oh amber you might have just helped guys, us have a fun fun concert to go to yeah for sure the WNBA season starts on sunday actually it's already started but the aces we can go to first game is on sunday which happens to be mother's day also my birthday weekend where am i going to be I'm either going to be at the game or I'm going to be sitting in front of my TV like, shh, 
don't talk to me while I watch. Oh yeah, Bradley was like, we should go to a game with Aaron when we're there. Oh my God, I lose my mind. Absolutely. Also, I, I lose my mind. Go see Monet's Lady Gugu. She's supposed to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to be laughing. That's funny. <laughs> anyway, expect videos to come out about me now. Love that for me. But y'all probably don't even follow the people who do it anyway, so that's good. Um, I expect them to come out, but out about me now. They have been from like the same certain people in the same group. But you know, according to Cody Rigsby, who just went to one of her shows, the this Vegas show of hers is more jazzy themed though. Just that's fine. Maybe I love Cody, the same way. Dog out. <laughs> Lady Google. Cody is amazing. He's it hilarious. Oh so my god. Also, if you're going to become a member um, of our channels, we both do the, we have a lot of the same stuff in the sense that we both have a discord. We both give videos early. Mostly there's some videos that I don't give early just because the last minute. And um, I think Aaron and I have both experienced that, but you get videos early. You get to chat with us. We have a lot of fun in the discord. So I was just informed, you know, who is popping off about this live and her IG stories. Well, that's okay. Yeah. I don't care. I, I expected it to happen. Um, and it's not something that... Are you good, Aaron? No. <laughs> it's not something that bothers me. Um, I finally told my story and I don't care. So good for her. Uh, Mo Hate. They're the number one hair loss company in the world. Mo Hate instead of Mo... <laughs> Uh, and again, no, no hate or shade to that person. This was just about telling the entire story that has not been told in the last five months. The Discord is off the hook. Thanks, Jessica. Yeah, yeah, we have so much fun in Discord. Um, but yeah, um, I expect retaliation. I expect videos, but uh, I don't care. Miss your mouth, eh? <laughs> I did. That's what I was laughing at. <laughs> I sure did. I don't yeah. even know where that went. Uh, find it later <laughs> exposed, exposed. <laughs> oh my gosh but let's talk about that new instagram account that is it's hilarious i am cackling what are they at first i was like what <laughs> okay wait but what are they what are they called mine is exposed aaron wears a beanie <laughs> but, oh yeah exposed julie joe has a dog <laughs> <laughs> y'all gotta go follow this channel it's funny um i gotta figure out who it is though first what are they called late is it lady yes lady underscore debunker literally l o l they say they're anti 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 mlm <laughs> oh my god it's so funny um like for example okay okay let's see Okay, here's mine. Julie Joe has a dog exposed. Got her. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron B's wears a bikini exposed. It's, so it's freaking hilarious. Hey. Dre, I love, I love it. it. Aaron, Aaron exposed. Aaron cannot eat her dinner properly. That's wildly accurate. <laughs> hey, Dre. Guys, this is the first time in definitely all year that I do not have a podcast tomorrow morning. Isn't that weird? That is weird. Yeah. Wait, why? Just because you took a break. For the week. I had a couple guests that were scheduled and life happened and they needed to reschedule and I don't feel like I have anything to say right now. Nice. You know how you go through phases like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I have stuff to say, but I'm kind of like, well, maybe. Oh, she tagged me. She tagged me. In her, huh? She tagged you? Yeah, in her um, stories. But, oh, I have her restricted. That's why I can't. Um, so I don't know. But she tagged me in them. So, yeah. I haven't watched them. I don't know if I should watch them on here because I don't want her to say her name. Don't watch them on here. I mean, I know everybody wants you to watch them on here, but don't watch them on here. This was, she's pissed. Though. This was three minutes, 18 minutes ago. There's three stories, so it's not bad. Um, 
I'm so happy you. Uh, Tanya said she's so happy I took the rhino off the wall behind you. By the way, this is a uh, an artist that made this for me. I picked yeah. the colors. And in every video, if you guys didn't know this, I actually have her Instagram linked in the video description. Oh, I Aaron. compliments. She's calling you out too, Erin. Oh. Right on. <laughs> Good for her. Also, what's so funny is these people who are doing this, especially like the one I had to use, you know, when it came to the law, they're what they're way older than me i'm 26 and they're like harassing me she's and saying i'm scared just she's just saying you're scared oh, scared scared because i won't say her name wait i gotta i gotta listen to it quietly with i'm gonna put myself on mute Erin. you can say something who's scared that's very interesting it reminds me of a military story you guys want to hear it while she's listening to it. Yeah, watch them later so you can process. I agree with that, Laura. Oh, she's saying JJ is scared. JJ is not scared. Okay, military story. I worked in maintenance. There weren't very many okay, aircraft so maintenance. I am going to share it. Oh, because okay. I'm going to prove something's wrong. Okay. So I'm just waking up from a little nappy nappy here to Love a that. beautiful live that's not bullying, but it's two people talking about just me. And we still haven't said your name and no one knows who you are in this video. And if they do, it's just because they've seen what you've posted. Incorrectly, by the way, Aaron, you'd never said that to me. Yes, I did. Yes, you did. On your live. Straight up. Go watch your live. Yeah, I did. If your live's still up, we could probably see it. Mm -hmm. Joe, you're also incorrect the way you're sharing it. And my analytics show you're not the best video I have. Your analytics show that? Let me explain something. The video that has the most views is the best video. Has the most views. And the video about me is the one that has the most views and is your top video. So, yeah. So, don't try to... No, this you're trying to get a one up because I put because I finally shared what happened, or because you don't like that I shared the original conversation. Hmm. I mean, that would be uncomfortable if I were her. Yeah, I would be uncomfortable. That would be very uncomfortable. I would be, I, I would be kind of embarrassed. Honestly, I would have been like, I didn't handle that right. That's how I think I would feel. Yeah. Um. Hello, Julie. Got to have back up. It's time to let it exposed. <laughs> Uh, I love that. Um, so first off, yeah, you're completely right. I would be upset if I were, because for five months, she hasn't shown the original conversation is, and has been having this narrative. Um, and like Amber said, because she's being exposed for what she said, you know, for her lies. And, you know, I, I would be upset if I were her too. That little thing out there and you're scared. Come on. My ass is scared. Very scared. Okay, so my military story, which will make sense with this. So I worked in aircraft maintenance. It's where I met my husband. We worked on the F-117s, the stealth bombers, stealth fighters, but they're really a bomber. Anyways, um, there weren't very many women in maintain maintenance. And so, like, yes, military story. Um, and so this is not me. I'm not trying to sound any type of way. But I worked around a lot of men and there were men that hit on me in weird ways, in creepy ways, which is like that happens in the military, happens in everyday life. Um, that's not me like trying to stroke my own ego. No. Anyways, uh, there was this guy and he was hitting on me and I was like, yeah, no, thank you. No, thank you. I'm not interested. I was actually dating my husband at the time and he was like, what are you, chicken shit? And I'm like, do you really think that that tactic is going to work to upset me and like make me go out on a date with you? And I feel like the reason I'm bringing this up is because this feels very similar, not the dating aspect of it, but like, oh, you, you're just scared. Oh, no, no, we're not. What are we scared of? I was not a crew chief. I actually was uh, logistics. So I was, I did all the ordering of the parts. My husband and I were just talking about this the other day because there were specific things. What, um, we 
to fill out forms. Thanks, babe. We had to fill out forms and for ordering so, different parts and stuff. And I would have like the tail numbers and the year that the aircraft. This is Brianna. She made another YouTube after getting her other YouTube taken oh. down for all of her copyright strikes because the video about my husband's up, but it, it doesn't include my video now. Interesting. Yes. But anyways, this feels very similar to that. It feels very, I'm going to try and provoke you into doing what I want you to do. And that's just not going to work on either of us. No, we don't. I don't care about it now. What I do care though is that I have the opportunity to tell what happened with those original comments. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Um, so I'm very happy that I was able to do so. And, and I expect this retaliation. Uh, I don't expect anything less. It fits the vibe of what they do. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much, that's that. Don't join an MLM. Don't join an MLM. <laughs> but I'm just really glad. Um, that I was able to share it. Like, I feel so much better after five months. <laughs> I mean, that kind of tactic, maybe that would work if I was 18 <laughs> and the hothead that I used to be, but not anymore. This person sounds like shared this on purpose for cloud. There's no way she wasn't looking for some kind of in. With jump. Yeah. And <clears throat> Riley's vids I can get. So thanks. I'll take any Riley vids I can get. So thank <laughs> you. Oh, he's so hot. We love Riley. <laughs> I love him. And he's like the sweetest person in the whole world too. Like who you think Riley is. He's better than that. What like, sign is he again? He was, he was born April 2nd. So he's an Aries. Aries. Yeah. And you know, he has good parents, good family, and they just raise their children super well, you know? Um, and he just, I don't know. Just a 10 out of 10. I, I love that dude. And yeah, I, I, I love looking at his face every day. <laughs> so I love all the right. Especially writing. since he's shaved, like you can see his oh, face. Yeah. Although I'm a fan of the beard. I've been very vocal about that. Riley, bring Hi, back the beard. Here. Come here, please. Yeah. He did shave his beard because I was not prepared. He needed to take care of his skin underneath. Yeah. Was having some time, having, having some trouble. Uh, you're good to go. It's freaking adorable. Oh, if I wasn't already married and he wasn't already married. <laughs> we love Dave. <laughs> hey, honey. Can I, can I show them your face? You can say no. You don't have to. Okay. Well, yeah. Put on the sweater. <laughs> no one else gets to see you like that. I'm just kidding. Put on some clothes or don't. For some of the people in the comments. <laughs> <They're out. laughs> okay. Hi, handsome. Look at him. Look oh, it's coming it. back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. He just washed his hair, but um, he, just, he has so much hair. It's incredible. He's really tired today. And he's also coughing. Too, yeah, if you can't so. tell, I took some medicine. Yeah, I love so that. Good. Can I put your hair in a high pony when you're here, just for the fun of it? Like, yeah, his hair will be much longer by then too. He can already put it half up. I love that. Like, I just want to put that in a ponytail so I can experience what like thick, voluminous hair is like. like. It is like his ponytails are like this I'm not big. Sure I is there something else I can help with? What in the world? Oh, Riley's doing it right now. Wait, can I show them your ponytail before you put it up? He can only use these kinds of ponytails too, pretty much. Look at this. If I had a ponytail, you know what kind of rubber bands I could use? The little, the little color. The clear ones? The little oh, tiny wait, ones, wait, like wait, my wait. baby ponytail. Because my yes. hair is fine. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh my God. I don't know how to show this. Here, sit on my lap, honey. Oh my Look at that. Look at that. Yes. It's still That's wet. a thick ass ponytail, but when it's dry, it's gonna be even thicker. It's still wet. He just showered recently. That's the size of the ponytail. <laughs> Amber said, Gun. "Amber, I'm just <laughs> fucking <laughs> mint." <laughs> Aaron said, "My twelve-year-old would love to French braid your hair, Riley. It really is fun because there's so you, much you of it." Like yeah, but I really enjoyed it. Um, someone said, "Hey, Mr. JJ." Hello. Get a Z. <laughs> I'm trying my doctors to give making it hard. Oh my god, I love us. <laughs> hi on screen, Riley. That's what someone said. Laura said, hi on screen, Riley. Um, yeah. You're sniffling, go lay down, babe. Oh, 
Me, okay, yeah, me too. Uh, Miss Whitney said I could take my test Friday. So I get to just lay down tomorrow and hope to God that oh, some of this. You can take a sick day if you need to. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. He might need to. He He's also getting like getting this cough shit going on. That's funny, Panda. <laughs> shoulders are the ones the oily mamas bust apart with lemon oil. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Yep. those. That's probably what I would put in my hair if I had long hair. That's funny. Oh, Miss Pino has had long hair. Go back to the '90s with the O'Reilly. Oh, really quick. Wait. What? The O, oh, really quick. Oh, that one. <laughs> in mint. Oh, Anyone funny. else thought that? Sorry that I'm saying the F word like that because you know I'm trying not to now because I want parents to be able to watch my stuff without their kids um, hearing that. But that that thing is so funny. Oh, these kids th these days <laughs> they hear worse at school. I guarantee you. Oh yeah. Oh, her kids have heard me go off, but I try, I try to like, now I'm like, is Mia and is, is Gavin, is, are they there? No. Listen, okay. We watch Isabella's videos and I'm like, Gavin, she says the F word a lot. And he's like, I don't care, mom. And I'm like, it's cool. Like, I'm just letting you know. And he's like, all right, cool. And he'll like sit there and watch it with me. I love that so much. Um, yeah. Anyway. Uh... I'm going to go. Okay. Yeah. I'm you feel better? Yeah, I feel fine. I'm just glad that I got to share it. But I know that, you know, this is going to cause a few of those people to erupt. Yeah. Um, and that's okay. Uh, I'm I'm okay with that. I'm going to ignore it. It's not an issue for me. Um, and I feel confident and happy about this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm we'll proud see. of you and how you've handled all of this. I know it hasn't been easy. No, it's, no, it's been a little difficult. But, you know, it's fine. And these things happen when you're a public figure and when you're doing something like this, especially when you're a social advocate, which is yeah. what I'm characterized as with my lawyer. I'm a social advocate. Um, so great chat. We've got, thank you, Laura. Thank you. We've got your back. I appreciate that. Um, I just was, you know, five months, Aaron, <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm finally, I feel like I was good enough and ready enough to share. And, you know, if it upsets that person, then, then so be it. Yeah. I'm not surprised it does though, because it hasn't been shared. Um, and and I mean, it, again, this wasn't done to shade that person. It was no. to tell the whole story. Yeah. Uh, so no, I'm not scared. I just still am trying to respect this person's privacy um, because they, I mean, they, everything they're posting is public, so I could post it. But yeah. but what they've been trying to use is that I have been telling my followers to go and attack them. Um, at least that's what one person said that they, they said, this person said in a video about me being a bully. So I haven't, and I won't. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I'm just excited. Hopefully I'll be able to make a video for this weekend. Um, uh, if I feel better, but anyway, I'm glad we did this and I'm sure Aaron will FaceTime me after. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you all have a great night. Don't join an MLM. Thank you for listening to me talk for so long. And thank you, Erin, for course. being on here because I'm sick and uh, it's just been, you were, you watched it all. You saw it all. You were there for all of it. And I just, I needed, well, wanted my best you on here. So, uh, yeah, uh, I guess we'll all talk to you later. Yep. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Right, Bye, everybody. everybody.